The winner is Sydney Portray. It is a long journey to this moment. You're watching the Academy Awards. The limos, the glam. I was sitting on a linoleum floor and was babysitting my half-brother and sister and watching on a Magnavox black and white TV. Then he wins. I was 10 years old and I had the thought that if a colored man could do that, if he could do that, mm. I wonder what I can do. For Oprah Winfrey, this early memory was a turning point, an inspiration to produce a new documentary about the man who became her mentor and friend called Sidney. You think of yourself as a colored man. I think of myself as a man. Sidney Poitier was raised on Cat Island in the Bahamas by his parents who were tomato farmers. The world I knew was quite simple. I didn't know there was such a thing as electricity or that water could come into the house through a pipe. I never thought about what I looked like. I didn't know what a mirror was. Poitier moved to the United States at 15 with no blueprint for the racism he'd face when he arrived. I just go, how did he do it? Mm. How did he, with no role models, and he made a path for all, all of us. us. Oscar-nominated producer Reginald Hudlin directed films including Boomerang, Marshall, and now Sydney. We all stand on the shoulders of Sydney Poitier, but it's much bigger than entertainment. The ripple effects of his meteor hitting the ocean exactly. is so mm. big, yes. we cannot quantify exactly. his global impact. Quincy Jones had a 42nd birthday party for me at his house, and... Sidney Poitier was there, and I remember going downstairs, turning a corner, and he was just standing there, and I froze. Not everybody gets to meet their heroes. Not everybody does. He exceeded every measurement I ever could have imagined. It's always hard being the first. When you're the first to do anything, people are coming at you from all sides. I had a conversation with him about what do you do with all the criticism and trying to be everything for everybody? And he said, my dear, it's challenging when you're carrying other people's dreams. There's also a part in the documentary that takes us to 1967, 1968, this time of civil unrest. What was that like when things are spiraling literally around him and he's this Hollywood star? There's always that question. Do the times make the man or does the man make the times, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, the answer is always a little bit of both. Here is this revolutionary force that's transforming Hollywood, political activism. He's all these things at once. Because he's carrying it on his back because he's the one that we see. He's the one that's visible. They call me Mr. Tibbs. In the 1970s, Poitier began to direct. And then when he gets behind the camera, he brings other black people behind the camera in. He Open in. the doors. Open the doors for so many others. We have 1,300 black people working uh, on, on the film. For Sherry, Anika, and Beverly, three of the icon's daughters, he was just dad. Well, long before it was a phrase on a t-shirt, he was clearly a loving girl dad. What do you remember about your dad growing up? We used to travel a lot. We'd be in a hotel room and bored. And we would put makeup on him and do his hair with bows and barrettes. And then we would call room service and make him go to the door and answer it. And he loved to just make us laugh and giggle. We talked, you know, quite a long time about different things. And, you know, the cosmos, as you know, he was very much into... Yes! yes. <laughs> he was very much into the stars and the planets and what was going on. What do you miss? I miss... Oh, it's going to make me cry. I, I miss hugging him. And sometimes I can still, like, there's like a muscle memory. You can still feel the person, even though they're not here. And I, you know, I miss talking to him. I still talk to him. And Sherry, what about you? His laughter. Oh, oh I love that. when he clap his hands and fall oh, out. And yes. Oh, my God. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I just miss his laughter. Do you still feel him? Every day every day. You were saying that you had a chance to see the documentary. Talk to us a little bit about that. It was just like an amen after a sermon. Aww. Aww. 
You guys captured the essence of him in the film. How does that feel? You all honor us so much with your words. He is the best man I have ever known, heard, read about. I, I don't know anybody more extraordinary than Sidney Poitier. Sydney debuts on Apple TV Plus and in theaters on Friday. I have to say, I walked away, as you can imagine, feeling so emotional. I couldn't help but think about my grandfather. Mm -hmm. They were only a few years apart. And the weight that he had to carry, not only, you know, just in his roles, but just as a man yep. and the responsibility that swirled around him. And he was so loved. And as a young woman with a career and a family, talk yeah. about a life well lived and how he was able to balance it. And as much as he, we know him for his career, he was such a good father. Yeah. And it was so evident in, in all of that. And so I just want you guys to know, I called our producers and I said, guys, we talked for almost an hour. There's so much that they talked about, so many memories they yeah. shared. Yeah. And that is the beauty of what we have at the Today Show. We have today all day because we're going to do a special um, coming up a little later today. So if you go to um, today all day at 10 a.m. Eastern, and we'll also put it on a little later this evening and you can watch it just go to today.com slash all day i mean they talked about it's on peacock as well it's on peacock as well i mean they talked about it one moment uh, one of the girls was in europe and threw a part or he was in europe and she threw a house party how do you do you think he found out do you think he called her she talked about that they talked a lot about you know the pressure that he faced and what you know how he was able to handle it so it was just such a good interview so i would encourage you to go to peacock and today all day um because it was just such a powerful moment yeah. I've, I've uh, you know I've, I've been working with you for years that's probably a, among the finest I've seen you yeah. right there that was beautiful thank, thank you. you thank, thank you, you. And, and love to his daughters oh. that was the first time they had been together that because was when beautiful. he passed during COVID they couldn't get together one of the greatest so. moments for Deborah and I we got to have lunch with him and his wife mm. a few years ago the greatest two hours of our lives mm. talk Thanks about a life, life well she with. said it was like an amen at the end of the, end yeah. of the servants yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.